Hello you guys, it is Christina. About a month ago on my channel, I uploaded the first episode of a series that I am starting called Trying Weird Spoonie Products. And in that episode, I tried out a cool minimalistic looking neck brace and you guys seem to really enjoy that style of video. And I asked you if you had any requests. And you did. The number one requested item was that little device that helps you to put your socks on. You've probably seen it. I know I've seen it. That hilarious infomercial of someone struggling to put on their socks. Now I must admit that I've had my fair share of laughs at that infomercial. What an impossible task. Thank God there is a product for that. And then I had knee surgery and I realized just how genius of a product that really was. I was in an immobilizer brace and there was absolutely no way that I could put my socks on by myself. And then I encountered my second situation in which I wished I had this product and that was putting on compression socks. If you have ever worn any kind of compression garment or sleeve, you know what I'm talking about. These things are important possible to put on and if you already have joints that hurt like I do like fingers and wrists and elbows and knees it is not an easy process so I gotta say I was kind of actually hoping you guys would request this product because I have definitely been looking for an excuse to try it out I went on Amazon I found the as seen on TV product the sock slider. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this thing looks gimmicky as heck. I don't know why they chose this amazingly unflattering picture of this woman to be front and center on their packaging. It's also got its little as seen on TV seal, just in case you forgot where you saw it. This product on Amazon set me back $12.99, which I personally think is a fairly reasonable price for any kind of medical device as long as it works. But I also saw this. This is called the sock aid and this only set me back $8.95 this looks like it does pretty much the same thing but it's a much more simplistic design and it got me interested I wanted to know do either of these work and if they do which one works better now I personally do a lot of medical travel and so that kind of plays a factor in why this one caught my eye it just it looked easier to pack than something ridiculous like this but hey you know we'll see what works so I'm gonna go put these to the test. First, I'm just gonna try to use them. Regular socks, regular circumstances. Then I'm going to put on my knee brace and see how it performs with that. And then I wanted to try it with my compression socks. And if it passes all of those, maybe I'll even try it with some footless compression sleeves. We'll see, that might be kind of ambitious. So this one looks fairly straightforward. It looks like it's just like half a PVC pipe with a jump rope attached to it. Yep. It's pretty much exactly what I expected, just a piece of pipe with some handles. And it comes with one page of instructions printed in black and white, but it looks pretty straightforward, easy to use. This guy looks a little bit more complicated, so let's see what's in this box here. I obviously have not opened this box yet, so you guys will be getting my true first impressions. And if it wasn't already obvious, this video isn't sponsored or anything by like the uh, sock slider company. I haven't made it to that point in my career quite yet. Okay, so what do we have here? Actually, <laughs> these are just about the exact same size. I guess that it would be just as easy to pack this one as this one. Okay, let's see what's in this bundle here. Instructions. These ones are printed in color. I don't know if I understand how to use this. I'm gonna have to take a better look at the instructions in a second. But it looks like there's some assembly required with this one. I'm gonna like take a wild guess and say that these snap together. Oh my gosh, this thing is so hard to put on here. I thought the whole point was this was supposed to be easier for like elderly people and stuff. I guess it's good that I'm trying this out on a day when I don't have my ring splints on. I packed in one of my bags somewhere. I just don't know which bag. I'm going to have to break and get someone else to put these together for me. Okay, I did it, but I think I hurt myself. This is supposed to help me not hurt myself. So anyway, now we got this, and then we have this piece here, 
which has a little bit of weight to it. It's got a little bit of grip on the bottom, so I'm guessing this is the part that goes on the floor. Oh, this just slides into here. So this is the assembled device along with its little scooper thing over here. So now this is definitely bigger and more cumbersome than this option, but it's good to know that this does break down. I wouldn't want to have to um, pull this apart, but it's doable. So reading through the instructions, one of the things that kind of stands out to me is that this product right here, the sock slider, kind of needs to be used on the ground. I'm also realizing that I put it on backwards. Okay. This is supposed to be super simple and I'm just dumb today. This is what it looks like. But for this product to be functional, the person who is using it is going to need to be able to sit up and get their feet flat on the ground. Whereas with this sock aid over here, it looks like you can use this while lying down in bed, which honestly might give this product a bit of an advantage to me. So now the fun begins. Time to test them out. So we're gonna be trying this first one out on my left foot because of aforementioned leg surgery. I got my little sock here. This is just a regular sock, no compression. I think I'm going to give this one a try first. So according to the instructions that honestly weren't very clear, it looks like you just put your sock on it and then you take the top of the sock and kind of stretch it inside out over the white part. Then now you're supposed to just be able to line this up with your toes like this and just pull up on these handles. Okay, this is a little bit difficult to wiggle up, but it is definitely putting my sock on. I wonder if I put my sock too far down because I really can't get anywhere past here. So I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna try putting my sock on a little bit less. See if maybe that helps. Let's see if this works out. These drum pro handles are really not that helpful, to be honest. Okay, that was easy, but I kind of just put my sock on. Am I doing this wrong? I mean, if I can't do that movement, I don't know why I couldn't pull my sock on. Let's try this. I don't know, guys. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Okay. Well, it put my sock on. It didn't pull it up <laughs> very high. But I feel like I kind of put my sock on. Am I doing this wrong? Let me look back at the instructions. But this one says that you do have to be sitting with your feet flat on the floor. Which I thought maybe you wouldn't, but I guess that's important. So the instructions were saying to put your foot on the floor until you get to the heel. And then when you get to the heel, to point your toe and pull up. So I guess I'm going to try that. Slow it in. I got to the heel. Now I'm gonna pull up. <laughs> huh. Maybe I had the sock on too far again. I don't know. <laughs> this isn't really working. Oh, wait a second. Oh. oh, wait a second. Okay, when I just pulled it like that, that worked better. What did I just do? Whatever I just did felt right and it felt easy, so I'm gonna try to see if I can do it again. Putting it on the floor until I get to my heel, and then I'm gonna pull up on the strings, but I think what I did last time is I kind of pulled down and up. So let's see. Up, oh, there we go. Okay, so, it put my sock on. As you can see, it's all bunched up. You can't see my little lamb on there. So, you know, I still had to bend over and pull them up, but my sock did go on. I'm wondering if I'm going to run into issues when I try it with a compression sock. But first, let's just try this regular sock with our as seen on TV sock slider. Okay, so I just read all of the instructions this time. Their pictures and steps are much more clear. 
And the thing I do like about this is it has this fancy little handle here that if you can't really bend over, you can use the handle to do a lot of the work. I'm hoping that this works a little bit better than those little jump rope ties on the other one. So loading this one up is pretty much the same deal as the last one. I'm kind of wishing that my feet were a little bit bigger because I feel like this is going to stretch out my socks. We're basically doing the same thing. We're just sliding the sock on there toe side down. Now it says to use the handle to gently lower the product down onto the floor, which is pretty cool. All right. How do I detach the handle? So this is basically the same deal as the last one. You just slide your foot in straight and once you get to the heel, you kind of change the angle a little bit. And they say if you're having a hard time pulling it up, you can use this little handle to do that. So let's see if this is any different. Oh, wow, yeah, no, this is already way easier and feels a lot better. All right, so I'm at the heel point and they say you can even hook the handle on to get a better grip here. Okay. Oh, wow. That worked super well. It brought the sock all the way up my ankle really easily. <laughs> I'm actually surprised how easy that was. Especially after the last one, I was thinking it would be finicky with angles, but this actually <laughs> worked really well. And it's pretty cool that you can retrieve it with the handle. With this one, I definitely feel like you could do this if you genuinely had a problem with your back or your legs or your hands. The other one I felt like was almost more work and I kept having to bend over or pull it up anyway. So I feel like if I couldn't put on socks, I couldn't use the other one. But why don't we put that to the test with the immobilizer brace. So my leg is now immobilized. I cannot bend it at all and I can't really bend to touch my toes. So first we are gonna try it with the white one and see how that goes. I'm not sure how I'm even going to get this to my toes, to be perfectly honest. I guess I'm going to just toss it. Oops, oh shoot, well I dropped the strap. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to maneuver my foot into here. Oh boy. This is not going well. Okay, so now I just push. This is not working. Oh, darn it. Okay. It says to place it on the floor and then pull your foot in. Oh, geez. But if I can't put my sock on, how am I supposed to line this up on the floor? Let's try this again. isn't working. These rope handles are just so unhelpful. I'm going to try one more thing and I'm going to try placing it this way and seeing if I can't pull it up that way. Oh geez, no, it's already... <laughs> Ugh, okay. Well, it won't even put the sock on and it hasn't even gotten to the tricky part, which is where the brace starts. I think this is just, this is a fail. But now I am really excited to see how our pal, the sock slider holds up. I got my little handle this time so I can actually place the thing on the floor <laughs> instead of just having to throw it there and fishing for it. So it's actually gonna be a little bit trickier than I thought this is a problem I didn't really foresee. The immobilizer just keeps my leg very straight and I don't have the ability to push down at this angle. I almost wish that there was like a hook here so I could lift it that way and pull it on. Darn it. I really thought this was gonna work. I'm gonna give this one more try and I'm gonna do it standing on my good leg and see if I can't just get my foot into it. Okay, so standing definitely worked and it got me to the toe. So now I'm gonna try sitting and see if we can't pull it up. Oh, okay. 
So obviously didn't pull up over the lip of this leg brace, but it did put my sock on, which was a whole lot better than the other one. And it was a whole lot better than I was able to do after surgery. I really kind of wish I had this after surgery. I just looked at the instructions and apparently it's saying that this part of the hook can be used to pull the sock the rest of the way up. So let's see if that works. Well, it's not really grabbing it very well, but I think that could have something to do with the brace and the pants that I'm wearing. So I think I'm going to test out just that feature on my other foot. I also just read that these two side parts here are for taking your socks off, which is so awesome too, because when I had surgery, that was not happening. So that definitely does help. It's not perfect. It's not totally unrolled, but it definitely helped. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I wish I had this. Well, that was super easy. It definitely does that. It definitely takes your socks off. Honestly, do I even have to? I'm already hating this product. Okay, well, let's give this a try. Maybe it works better on compression wear than it does regular socks. It does say you can shorten these straps just by changing the knots at the end. So, oh wait, I don't think that I put enough of the sock on though. Okay, so this time I made sure to load it on so that the heel would be right about here so I could get my whole foot in. I'm trying to give this the best test as I can, but I don't think I like this product. My geneticist actually prefers that I wear compression sleeves, so socks without the toe, because he said it's better for your circulation. But I tend to like the socks because I get a lot of pain and movement in my foot, and a lot of times the tightness feels really good. Okay, I can tell that I'm just kind of pushing the sock out of the thing. It's doing like the opposite of what it's supposed to be doing. I don't know. I think anyone injured or elderly... Ow, this is... I don't like this. I'm gonna try the other one. Okay, so this sock is obviously a little bit longer than the other sock and tighter. So I'm just really trying to make sure to get that heel up as high as I can. I love having this hook thing. Please work. No. Okay, so I obviously didn't do a good enough job getting the heel higher when I was loading it on. So I'm gonna try again. Okay, so that was a little bit difficult to slide on there just because I have a bit of a small foot. I run between like a six or a seven in women's sizes. I think that's like a four or a five in men's. And obviously this is compression, so this thing is pretty tight. I'm hoping though that I can Darn, I just can't seem to get the heel lined up correctly. One more try. This time I loaded it on there using a trick that my physical therapist, Trish, told me to always use with compression garments. Take the top half and turn it kind of inside out like this. So once you've got it on, you can just pull this part up. I'm hoping that if I do it with this thing, I can use that little hook to pull it the rest of the way up. Final try. I honestly think that this is an amazing product, but they just need to maybe make one smaller. Yeah, <laughs> that didn't work. That makes me sad because this would work. It's just that my foot is too small and the compression sleeve is just too tight. I'm gonna give this one one bonus try with my footless compression sleeve because I really, really want this to work. Here goes nothing. Okay, so that time almost worked. I think that if I spent more time perfecting it, that I could definitely get that to work. So I'm not writing off compression garments altogether with this product. I think that it is just a problem with my sizing. I wish that they would just make a smaller size of this. But I'm thinking, you know, if I'm struggling just to get the sock on, I can't imagine this really being all that beneficial if I had full-length stockings to put on, like the ones that you have to wear in the hospital or after surgery or some of, like, the fancy pantyhoe version. I don't really see that 
being a reality, being able to load that thing completely onto here and then get your foot all the way down to the toe. But this is also my first time trying this product out. So it's very possible that I'm just making some user errors here. Let's see if this is any better. I just tried to get it as close to the edge as possible. So these ones aren't supposed to sit on the foot. These are supposed to go kind of up my ankle, but they're kind of coming off onto my foot. Um, it definitely did a really good job of at least putting it on me. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Game changer. That worked really well. So it got it on and then I can bend down and pull it on. I honestly think that that was easier than trying to wriggle my foot into it. It still took me pulling it up, but wow, that is a game changer. This little hook here, when you really hook it right, it slides right up to your heel. I feel like if I practiced a little bit more with this and got the right compression socks, that this is definitely doable, especially since I am still able to pull up. It's really just like getting your foot in there that's really hard. So final thoughts, if you are looking for something to help you or a loved one put on their socks, maybe give this a try, splurge the extra few dollars. I feel like I could throw my sock at my foot and it would still be better than this. Just don't buy this because unless I made some kind of huge user error, which is a possibility due to the fact that their instructions are very limited, this thing just doesn't work. <laughs> you still have to bend over with this. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can return that, but I will definitely be keeping this one around the house. And I think I'm also going to buy one for my grandfather who has a lot of problems putting his socks on as well. This one really does work and I feel like with a little bit of practice, I could really get the hang of it and might use it every day. So there you go. Everything you need to know about sock aids. Hope that you found this video helpful and maybe it saved you from having to try these products out on your own. I have a lot more really fun reviews coming up. Some of them I'm filming right now, but they need to kind of be tested over time. I'm getting really excited to share those with you. But if you liked this style of video and you have any special requests, let me know down in the comments. Obviously, I listen. I also make weekly vlogs on this channel as well as some generally informative type videos. So if you haven't seen those already, I recommend you check it out. And if you decide you like them and want to see more, you can always subscribe and hit that bell for notifications whenever I upload a video. But until then, bye guys!